Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Ordinary Pycnogenal 5%. Now a few videos ago I did upload a 5 video series on the Ordinary Skincare line targeting certain skin types and skin concerns and in one of those videos I did mention that I wanted to pick up the Pycnogenal and to see really what it was all about and to know if this would be something that I could incorporate into my skincare routine. So I have been using the product now for a few weeks and and now I want to tell you all about it. So before we get started, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, that way you're never going to miss any of my future videos on skincare and all things beauty, and I upload videos every single week. So let's get right into the video. So I did touch base on the Ordinary Pycnogenal 5% in one of my Ordinary Skincare Series videos and that video was for dry dehydrated skin. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it below for you as well as up here if you'd like to check that out later on. And I do mention some other products that you can use from the Ordinary Skincare line that will help target dry dehydrated skin. So again, this is the Pycnogenal 5%. This is really good for dry dehydrated skin. This really does give a lot of moisture and hydration to your skin but because this is an antioxidant this is still going to help with anti-aging for fine lines and wrinkles to give your skin more of a brighter appearance so if you have dull looking skin this is going to make your skin a lot brighter just like a vitamin C product would as well. Now this works really nicely hand in hand with a vitamin C product and that's why I purchased this product because I wanted to use another antioxidant product in combination to a vitamin C serum so that I get a double whammy of antioxidants. So that's why I picked this product up. So Pycnogenol is a natural plant extract that is actually derived from pine bark of the French maritime pine trees and this is a Product that is going to help rejuvenate your skin, rebuild your skin elasticity, and it's going to help with anti-aging and hydration. So this is a wonderful product, has great ingredients in here. This helps to nourish the skin from the inside out, helping collagen and elastin to bind together, and it also helps to fight free radicals as well. So overall, this is a very powerful antioxidant, and this can be used in the morning as well as nighttime. You can do it twice a day or you can use this once a day depending on of course what other products you're using along with this. So I personally like to use this in the morning along with my vitamin C serum because I want to use these two together and have them come together and give my skin a really high powerful dose of antioxidants. So I like to use this in the morning and you're going to want to use this after your water-based serums which is your hyaluronic acid. If you're using the ordinary Matrixel or the Buffet that's a water-based serum so apply those first apply this afterwards and then apply your heavier creams your SPFs and if you're into face oils then use that after this product as well so the only product that you cannot use along with the pycnogenal 5% is the ordinary copper peptides plus 1% so don't be combining the copper with this product but anything else from the ordinary skincare line you can definitely use in the same routine as the pycnogenal 5% and if you want to use a glycolic, a lactic, or a salicylic acid, you can definitely use those along with this as well in the same routine. Now, if you don't want to apply this after your water-based serums and before your moisturizer and your SPF, you can definitely put a couple of drops of this in with your moisturizer, mix the two together, and apply it to your skin and your neck that way if you really want to. I have done that a few times and I really do enjoy doing that. And I actually mix this with the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factor plus hyaluronic acid and I really love that combination and it just goes onto your skin so nicely. So you do have the option to mix it with your moisturizer or you can apply it to your skin by itself like this after your water-based serums. Now the really cool thing about Pycnogenol and this is actually another reason why I love this one so much and a lot of us are going to benefit from this if you are somebody that uses a vitamin C serum. So if you've had a vitamin C serum for a little while and you know that it has oxidized and the ingredients in it is not potent anymore because you've had the product for a long time and it's been opened for a really long time. Now when I say a really long time, I'm not talking about two, three years here. I would definitely throw that product out and purchase a new vitamin C serum. But if you are about three or four months past the expiry date or even six months, then you're going to want to keep that product and pair it with your Pycnogenol because Pycnogenol can actually help to recycle oxidized vitamin C, making it active again. 
and I don't know how it does it, but the pycnogenol will actually react to the vitamin C ingredients, making them active again. It's like it's like bringing it back to life again. So that's why I like this so much because a lot of us may not use our vitamin C serum quick enough and it will start to oxidize. Keep that product, pair it with the pycnogenol just until you finish up the vitamin C even. That way you're able to finish that product but you're also getting the benefits of this as well. So this is a 15 mil size bottle. Unfortunately, this is the biggest it comes in. I really wish that The Ordinary would have created at least a 30 mil because it would give us a longer time in between before we had to purchase another one. You only need a couple of drops when you use this, but if you are using this every day, you're definitely gonna go through this pretty quickly. But again, it's very affordable. It's under $10 and this retails at $9.90. This is fragrance free, but there really is a deep coloring to this product. And I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand in just a minute. But as you can see, there really is a dark orangey red hue to the product. And that is not artificial. This is natural from Pycnogenol. And the reason why it's deep in color is due to the high potency of Procyanidin and Pycnogenol. So that's what's giving the coloring to the product. So I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. So I'm not putting a lot of product here because I do want to preserve it, but as you can see, there is a really nice texture to it. It's not too runny. It just kind of stays in place. And then when I rub it into the back of my hand, as you can see, it does spread really nicely. It absorbs really quickly, and you can see that my skin is not being stained by the product either. But I do have to let you know, and The Ordinary does warn you, that this product could stain your towels, it could stain your pillowcases, your hands. So if you are using this product, make sure that your hands are well washed and make sure that you don't put too much on your skin either. You only need a couple of drops of this product and this product does have an oil type of texture as well. So if you do want to mix it with your moisturizer, it really will help to spread the product a little bit better and you won't get the staining either as it's mixed with a moisturizer. But even if you apply it by itself after your water-based serums and then you go and apply your moisturizer on top your face is not going to be stained at all I never have experienced this yet and my hands I've always washed my hands really well and I've never seen any staining on my hands nor have I seen it on my pillowcase or my towels but I do want to let you know that if you don't wash your hands properly and you do put too much on your skin it could stain so overall I really love this product I will be repurchasing this 100% I love the way that this feels on my skin it really does give you a lot of hydration and and moisture and it really does pair well with the water-based serums as well as my vitamin C. It pairs really nicely underneath an SPF. I never see any type of pilling, nothing. So this is a fabulous product. It's very affordable and I have seen a difference in the hydration and moisture levels of my skin and I do see a brighter appearance to my skin as well but I think that's coming more from the vitamin C product than the pycnogenol. But regardless, even if you're somebody that does not use a vitamin C because maybe you can't use that, definitely pick up this product because this is still going to be giving you antioxidants. No different than the vitamin C, but this is going to give you more hydration and moisture. Vitamin C will do more of an anti-aging type of action on your skin. This one won't do that so much, but this is still going to be very beneficial for your skin and this is going to give you great results as well. So that is everything in today's video. If you have any further questions in regards to the pycnogenol, leave your comments below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And I will also have this product linked below for you as well. And if you want to check out those videos that I did on the Ordinary Skincare series, there's five in total. I will leave those below for you also and up here. But I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.